All right, I was hoping to get this video out before Christmas, and I, well, I guess I will. It's Christmas Eve. But uh, I'm making a coconut pie, and it is a m wonderful <laughs> coconut pie. Believe me, I am a uh, sweetaholic. So uh, when I say it's good, it's good. Uh, right now, my wife and I are doing somewhat of a paleo diet basically uh, backing off on all the carbs so uh, but this is Christmas so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna break that I did a I do a little karaoke uh, DJ in on the side and the other night at a party I was doing they uh, asked me to be a <laughs> to be a, a, a judge over some desserts that people had brought <laughs> I went back to them sweets like a crack hoe out of rehab. <laughs> oh, anyway, that's completely beside the point. This is a coconut pie. Uh, I'm stirring with a, uh, this is a Teflon. Now this is supposed to be in like a saucepan, and obviously this is a bigger than a saucepan, but I'm making a double batch. going to make two pies. For a family get together, one pie may never make it to the family get together. Probably won't, but uh, that's why I'm making two. And I'm not going to use my uh, my pie crust that I normally make. Did a video on that. Uh, very easy pie crust. If you don't, uh, if you didn't watch the video, go back and watch it. Simply because I don't want to have to mess with the pie pans and washing them and bringing them home and all that stuff. So. Anyway, uh, the ingredients are one and a half cups of sugar for one pie. Now, I'm making two here, but for one pie, one and a half cups of sugar, half cup of flour, four egg yolks, two and a half cups of milk. And you're going to stir this. Uh, you know, you can stir it frequently or you can just keep stirring it. I, I have scorched one in the past, so I usually just stand over it. That's one reason I don't like to make this pie because you can't go sit down. So, uh, but you'll, you'll stir it, keep it from sticking, uh, scorching, you know, you don't want to scorch it. It uh, tastes like scorched milk, which is not good. Uh, you can do this with a whisk. Uh, again, this is Teflon. Uh, I'm using plastic uh, because the family, I, I personally, I like a little Teflon in my pie. <laughs> so I, I would t typically use a, you know, a steel whisk. <laughs> Because I like a little Teflon, adds a little fiber, but uh, it's probably best that you don't. Anyway, we're going to stir this till it thickens. Got a couple more things to add to it, and then uh, we're going to make some meringue. And uh, just y'all come back, watch. All right. You came back. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Uh, as you can see, it's beginning to thicken nicely um, at this point. You want to add, man, my hand is tired. I'm tired of stirring. I don't like to make this kind of pie. Uh, you add uh, half a stick of butter. Now I'm adding a full stick simply because, I, again, I am making two pies. I went ahead and melted it a little bit just to give it a little extra. I'm in a hurry. Uh, half a stick of butter. You're going to put a teaspoon of vanilla. For one pie, teaspoon of vanilla, and a cup of the coconut. Now, if you leave off the coconut, you have got a pretty good, just a vanilla pie. If you put some uh, cocoa in it, and I don't know how much, you have to do it to taste. Uh, although I think I've got it written down somewhere. But anyway, put some cocoa in it, and you would have a chocolate pie. So at the, at this point here. Uh, once you put the v uh, butter and the vanilla in it, you have got the uh, a uh, I guess a cream pie uh, ready for to make it whichever whatever kind of uh, cream pie you want it to be. But we're gonna put some coconut in this. One cup in a single pie, and again I'll put two cups in this because it's two pies. Let me uh, put down the camera, measure my coconut, measure my vanilla, and we'll keep stirring here in a minute. All right, we added our coconut we added our niller that's real niller that's real that's real niller uh, coconut and niller and it's going to get even thicker it's getting so thick that the pan is turning and I can't do this with one hand because it's just turning on me look like a carousel 
So let me put down the camera again. Stir this up. I'm gonna pour it in a pie pans, in the pie pans, because I'm making two. Okay, here they are, pulled up in the pie shells. Now you can stop right here, but we're gonna put meringue on top. But you can stop right here because they're <laughs> they're dang good just like they are. And they're only gonna get better as that coconut infuses and coagulates and all them other words. Um into the filling uh, it just it just oof, makes it gooder and gooder um, I am going to make some meringue I did tell you didn't I to save your egg whites did I I forgot to I didn't tell you oh well sorry hope you didn't throw your egg whites away we're gonna make some meringue with the egg whites uh, we're gonna put about two uh, uh, Two teaspoons of sugar per egg white. Now again, uh, a single pie is going to take um, single pie recipe is going to take uh, four eggs. We did eight eggs because we made two pies. So I'm going to put. This is going to have uh, 16 teaspoons of sugar, but I'm just going to put add a little bit at a time. You don't start out going crazy, and I'm not going to be able to show this. Because my stove top is hot. Maybe I can show a little something here. You want it on high? And as you start sweeping that pretty good. After it starts whipping up pretty good, you'll add some more egg whites and some more egg whites. I mean, excuse me, some more sugar, some more sugar, more sugar, more sugar, and I'll show you after we get it all whooped up. All right, we just whooped this like a stepchild. <laughs> when it starts to peak, when it's to peak, start to stand up. Look like, you see, what I'm talking about with it standing up. It is ready to go on the pie. Still not going to be able to do this with one hand not gonna be able to spread it on the pie so, but let me do that and I'll you know how to spread it on the pie probably but anyway mm. I had to get that I had, I had a bug on it <laughs> not really anyway let me spread it on the pie we'll get back all right and after I get it spread on the put it on the pie I like to just come back and and make some peaks okay just make some peaks just think Rocky Mountain Prepper here, okay? And then we're going to sprinkle it with some coconut on top. Not a whole lot, just uh, enough to make it pretty. Put it in the oven for just a little while for all the coconut and the meringue browns just a touch. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Ooh Look at you, yeah, what a pie! Okay, got it all. Got the peaks. That's why you do the peaks. Get them all brown. A little, some of the coconut gets brown. Man, that's good stuff. I forgot to tell you, don't whip the uh, egg whites with uh, in, in a, an aluminum bowl. I don't know what it does. Something I don't know. Read up on it, but uh, that's why I did it in plastic. But there's my coconut pies. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And they're just as good as they are pretty. I know it's uh, a little late maybe for Christmas, but hey, you're not doing anything tomorrow morning. Right? <laughs> Get up and make a pie. <laughs> hope you like it. And I uh, hope you'll make it. Coconut pie. Texas Preppers coconut pie. It's a good one. And with that, we're going to be going.